Maya, have you got to mine yet? I'm just in the elevator now. Okay, well I'm running late and stuck in town. There's a spare key in the plant pot by the front door, so you can let yourself in. In the plant pot, right, okay. Can you please make a start by grabbing the stuff we need and putting it by the front door? Sure, what am I getting? I've left a list in the kitchen so you'll know what to collect. Okay, no problem, leave it to me. Great stuff. Speak soon. A fire extinguisher. I do hope I won't need it. It's always good to know where there's a fire extinguisher. A standard fire extinguisher. Not useful to me now. It's a fire alarm. There's normally a fine for improper use. Abby mentioned a list in the kitchen. Better check there for what I'm looking for. Note to self, congratulate Abby on her second book deal. I guess that Urbex stuff is paying off. Friendly neighbors. Rare. You have one new message. Hi, this is Melissa calling for Miss Harwood. I hope I'm not, like, catching you at a bad time. I'm just calling to let you know about, like, how you're booking for your upcoming camping trip along the Shadow Creek Trail is, like, confirmed and everything. Everything you need is, like, included for you, and we'd love to hear back on how it all went. If you have any, like, problems... First aid kit. Glad she thought to take this. She's always hurting herself. This takes me back. It's my old rucksack. I've had it for years. Another odd mystery to add to the list. Seems a bit excessive to me. My hands are full. I can't carry anything else until I put down what I've already got. with a fairly big kick of sugar. A couple of apples for a quick snack. Hot dogs, perfect for the fire. Good idea to take this. Hydration is key when you're out in the field. A stack of paper cups. Easy to carry and no washing needed. Not much good without fuel. It 
It's a sandwich bag. I don't like sandwiches. Hmm, I think this bread bin is fake. Guess the bread must be somewhere else. It's a toaster. It's not particularly exciting. It's a chopping board. Not really much more to say. A classic camping cup. Bet it tastes tinny. Paper towels. Good for cleaning up mucky mess. Funky looking coffee. It's a vase. A vase for holding circular shaped flowers, I guess. Funny, this doesn't strike me as an apartment that would have a real fireplace. Genuinely hate bananas. Bananas are the most awful thing in the world. Sliced bread. This stuff is the best thing since, well, itself. This is something that manages to be both useful and dangerous at the same time. I hate these things. I just always feel they're going to explode in my face. like a good year. The Clover Group Camping Trips. I don't know why Abby likes this stuff. I can't think of anything worse. I've got no more room to carry anything else. This is my old thermos, still going like a trooper. Good old tinned food. I guess you could live on it, but it tastes like garbage. This is a creepy little statue. I bet it comes alive at night. Now, useful for if you get wet. Just a plain old toilet. Nothing to see here. The call of nature's throne, but not answering right now. The most mundane part of any adventure. The toilet. It's a toilet. I bet it doesn't even flush. Not sure if this is a clue or just random. Look at that boat. Huh, I remember someone made a game based on this. That was really good. This truly is a thing of technological beauty. Comfy looking sleeping bag, but these things are always a nightmare to roll back up. Headphones. I miss my gaming days. I used to really like point and click adventures.
portable cutting equipment, a modern wonder. I remember this guitar. Abby used to busk in London when she lived in England. <laughs> I can't believe Abby's got a cleaner now. Abby's new book. She's doing well out of these. Now that's a nice collection of tea. This is Abby's first book. Who'd have thought going into old buildings was so popular? I mean, who actually even uses a globe these days? She's supposed to be teaching me how to play this. A tent. Handy for keeping all the things off you in the wire. Okay, that's everything she wanted. Please wake up. I don't know where you are, Tom, but I need you. 